Hi there, Jennifer Elizabeth Masters here, and I'm really excited to share this information with you because it just came through in a session I did with a client. You know, when I'm working with clients and I open their Akashic records, the information that flows through me is truth. It is not me, it is not my opinion, it is not me um, doing a psychic reading or anything like that. This is divine truth that flows through me because I am in their Akashic Records. And what are the Akashic Records? Well, the Akashic Records are the record book of, of God, if you believe in God, or the record book of the universe where everything that was ever written is recorded. Every thought, every word, every deed, every emotion. And right now, I just want you to breathe and just feel this energy. And I'm going to be right here. Don't go away. I just have a little a little a technical thing to do here. Where is my video? There we are. Okay, so um, I'm just going to be a second here while I try and figure out how to do this. Um, everyone is unique. I am unique from you. You are unique from me. Every single person on this planet is different, and there's a reason for that. And when we go on other people's and i'm i'm really talking to business owners here because when we go on someone else's website and we look at what they do um, it collapses our energy field if we are comparing ourselves to them and we look at oh my goodness she's doing that she's charging she's charging that amount for this oh my and then it diminishes who we are energetically so if you are a healer, if you're a business owner, you know, we have got to create from, from, you know, the information we receive that flows through us and put it out there in a unique and beautiful way. And when we go on someone else's site and we use their information, we use their words, or, or maybe we just look to see what are they doing and maybe we could um, maybe mimic some of the things that they're doing or even just look to see you know, for just comparison's sake, let me look at someone else's stuff and see what they're doing. Well, <laughs> it came through in this session with my client who is, she's a, a movie actress and she's not getting the role she wants. And I told her, because um, she has a friend, she is, she's given all kinds of information to in New York and and, and met uh, her, you know, shared her contacts. And then when she started to sort of look to see what was going on with her, her field just collapsed. I could see her field collapse when she talked about it. And so what does that mean? Well, when our field collapses, it means we become the small person. We become diminished energetically. When we're diminished energetically, we are not standing in our power where this is where we create from where grace flows through us, we are not able to create when we diminish our energy and we compare ourselves to others because no two people are doing the same exact thing. Hi there. Kerma. Hello, Kerma. Nice to see you. Welcome. And I, I just want to say, Kerma, Kerma's artwork. Look, Kerma. Look at that, your beautiful painting. It is, it is the backdrop for so many of my videos. It is fabulous. I, I love it. Every day I am so grateful to you, Kerma, for that beautiful painting. It is inspiring for me. It, it reminds me of how the light flows through every single one of us. 
And the more luminous that we become, the more connected that we are with our high self, the more time we spend outside in nature, the more photons we eat with fresh vegetables and fruits, the more light we can hold and the higher our vibration becomes. That glasses. I not only like it, Kerma, I absolutely love it. It's it's fabulous. Kerma, can you do me a favor? Can you share this video if you, if you feel so called to do so? I was in the process of doing that. Um, I don't know that I can, but... So, oh, there we go. Page. No, I don't want to do that. Where's discard? I want to share this one more place. There we go. Okay, so what I'm talking about is each of us has a purpose. We all have our soul purpose. And what Kerma's soul purpose is and what my soul purpose is are different. And when we go and we compare ourselves to someone else and what they're doing, what they're charging, how they present themselves, what they're doing on their website, and, I, you know, hey, I'm the first to say, when I'm building a new website, I look around at what are you doing, Jan? What are you doing, um, Hannah? What are you doing, Julie? Oh, You know, when we do that, we go look at someone else's site, and then we're not coming from our own truth. We're not standing in our own grace and our own power. And, yes, it's, you know, we can get information, um, but it's it's available to everyone. So we have got to stand in our own truth, stand in our own power, and that way we're expanded. We're in the truth of who we are. Grace flows through us, and that is how we become successful, not by thinking that there's competition because there is none. There is no competition in the universe. The universe is abundant. And we are all meant to be prosperous. And the more that we stand in that truth, the more that we believe it and receive it, <clears throat> that's the thing is that so often we are doing things to please others. So we're giving, 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 and we have an issue with receiving. I know because it used to be me. So <laughs> I, can, I can attest to all of these things that, you know, we live and we learn. And as our vibration becomes higher, our energy is cleaner, we are more luminous, we, we just are, are going to rise. And then, you know, we can hold hands with all our brothers and sisters out there and rise together and everyone will have enough, right? Oh, so Kerma um, is living in uh, Montana, and she's the featured artist in Havre, Montana, November and December. Congratulations, Kerma. She, uh, Kerma does beautiful artwork, as you've seen with that, that beautiful painting that I showed you earlier. Um, and we met on a hike uh, in, in the Los Angeles area, and um, I think I told you that you were going to be moving. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so so one of the things that I'm going to go back to the Akashic Records because um, this is something I am going to be teaching in Atlanta, Georgia, um, and that is November 10th and 11th at the Inner Space in Atlanta, and I'm very excited about this. It's a two-day course. It's a certification, and you will uh, get uh, credit with the um, – the Atlantean Mystery School through the Inner Space, and you can contact Sherry Henderson at the Inner Space for information, and there will be um, lots of information coming out about that very soon. And in this Akashic Record course, and and why do I um, am I so excited about this? Because in 2010, I traveled to Bali. I studied. Uh, with Ernesto Ortiz. I learned from him how to read the Akashic Records. And since then, I have grown tremendously because 
um, you know, I'm using the Akashic Records every single day, use them in my cl with my clients, my channelings, my books, and um, I am doing a retreat in Scotland where I am teaching the Akashic Records, and you can learn how to channel your book using the Akashic Records. My book, Orgasm for Life, I wrote in less than three months. It was totally channeled. Most of my blog posts are channeled. And so when we do channel, and I'm not talking about trans channeling where we have a spirit come into our bodies per se, that's we are actually, ha we're in this divine flow. And I've been on telesummits where, you know, there's been 68 beings that are, are talking to me, uh, giving me information. So, you know, I've had people ask me, so how accurate is, are the Akashic Records? Well, they're 100% accurate. The information that flows through the Akashic Records, it's already been, it is true stuff. So um, I have yet to tell somebody something that hasn't been exactly accurate. And so anyway, um, back to comparing and comparison shopping. So there is no one else that has your body. There's no one else that has your hair, your mouth, your eyes. And, you know, we can pay other people compliments. Now, Kerma is a fabulous artist. She's doing beautiful work out in the world. Now, she's got different talents than you or I. Now, there's Bettina Bailey out there, that, and she paints beautiful dogs. And, and I think her, her forte is dogs, but I think she does cats, too. And um, Kerma does animals and birds, but she also does uh, vistas, you know, I you probably have a more technical term terminology karma for that so do not compare yourself there's no one else out there like you you are a unique person and um, thinking that you could be like someone else is sheer folly and what did I say it collapses your field it makes you weak and small and it, it keeps you out of the grace flow of grace living in the moment and it is not your authentic self so this is jennifer elizabeth masters i am delighted to be sharing this information with you i love you thank you so much for watching and if you like this video share it with your friends and you can sign up for my email newsletter at jenniferelizabethmasters.com where you can get a free downloadable book that I have written about manifesting, leaving nothing out. It includes everything that you need to know about being able to manifest for yourself. So thanks again for watching. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. Much love.